Well, it arrived. Sligo S620. This is going to be my unboxing video. Pretty beat up. It's definitely uh, had a few hot suppers. It's got some squish factor. You know, not Sligo's fault, but definitely uh, UPS did not treat this entirely as they should have. But let's hope the inside was packed well enough. Hmm. It looks like it was at one point in time, but the foam on this corner particularly, in the upper corner, is not like this corner here. I got the slate gray color option. And I thought I got the Type C, but I didn't. It's a good thing because this looks awfully recessed. I don't know if a Type C will go down in there. I think honestly, maybe a Type A might even have some troubles. Fit and finish. Finish is fine fit. Seems a little bit off right there. But that could be just panel flex. A lot of space in there. I am wondering, I don't see one, but in my SM580, there was uh, behind this panel, there was a SSD mount. Something interesting that I did not know or didn't realize before purchase. I picked the gray option, but I guess the gray only applies to the side panels, not to the frame, because the frame and the side panels are different colors. I've got black to gray. I'm assuming this frame would match the black on black panels, but Right here, it's jam chuck a block full of paper. I'm assuming somewhere in there is some screws and stuff. Uh, we've got the side radiator mount right here. Rear 120. I did not get the handle kit, and it looks like you could fit a radiator up here. But all the documentation I saw did not say anything about a top mount radiator in there. And given where the motherboard tray is, right here, you, you don't have enough depth. Maybe slimline fans at the most, at least on this side over here, because the motherboard comes to right here, to the midway point. And, yeah. You're not getting anything but slim fans in the top, so that's why they didn't say anything about it. Because the power supply either goes this way here, or this way here. So, here's the panels. And here's the accessories. Uh, one thing I'm kind of disappointed in, uh, the screws come in a single-use plastic. Uh, I know some other, not even high-end brands, include a little plastic box with an organizer to keep all the screws separated. I did order the pigtail backplate, as well as the standard power plug for this uh, C13 cable. And yet again, the internals mounts. This is an internal mount for the power supply. It is black versus the gray. And same with all these plates. So here's the components going into the system. This is a Z690 DDR4 uh, gigabyte Aorus I. The 32 gigs of DDR4 with an EVGA CLC, 
it is the only CLC that I found that would actually fit on this particular board because of how tight it is around here because even this one uh, I had a EK uh, all-in-one prior to and then the hoses covered up on the side covered up this one ram slot because if, as you can see there's not even a finger width in between there and any of there's a little bit more this way but down lower there's a, uh, a step yeah there's no light in there you can't see it anyway it's tight in every possible dimension like these cables barely fit in there and you got to be careful that they might not get cut on those fins of the heat sink so I know normal ITX's yeah you're tight but this is seems to be incredibly more so this it's also got a lot of thickness to it because you got your two uh, M.2s installed in here on this riser or BTB I believe is what they call it um, but you have it's got two funny looking proprietary plugs that go into the motherboard you can see them there on the right hand side connects everything up together and uh, so that's where your M.2s go the system has been running. Um, the whole reason why I even I'm upgrading to this case is because these are horrible. I will never buy another system that requires you to use a riser cable. I've given them plenty of fair chances, but they always, always has given me as an individual trouble. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Uh, it's getting ready to get shipped out for RMA. But this came out of the submeshalicious, whatever, is, what is, that's what this case is replacing. So, next to it, I have a Radeon uh, 6900 XT. It's a uh, was top tier AMD, no longer is. They got the 6950 XT. And then powering it all is a EVGA 850 SFX PSU. I will say the fans that come on the EK, uh, EK EVGA CLCs, straight up potato. Brand new out of the box, they made horrible, horrible sounds. And due to time constraints and whatnot, I just took the fans off of my EK. So that's why I have EK Vardar fans on here. They are RGB. Um, not that I really care too much about that, but that's why there's a mix match of fans on there. So now I get to jam all this into that. I will check in through each stage and we'll see how things are going. So got the motherboard and the power supply installed. Um, rather straightforward uh, I will say that there are a quite a few different flavors of screws um, it would be nice if they were labeled and the reason I know new red ones to use off the bat is because the other slider case that I had was the same thing and I just got used to it um, I wound up installing the PSU in this orientation it's perforated so I'm not worried about it so that that way this cable right here can slide through and come down and be neatly managed out of the way through you're supposed to be able to put a two and a half inch SSD in there and I believe as well as one over here but I'm using that space to hide these cables in and then with it going that direction you've got the plug going this way which made it a lot easier for it to fit down to be zip tied into these corners out of sight out of mind you know I'll get that done here shortly next uh, hopefully I can still reach that 8 pin up there I'm pretty sure I can come in down through the top and get that plugged in here 
get these fan cables and everything managed and out of the way. And then I think next I'm going to install the graphics card and then the radiator. Now they do say fitting a 280 mil radiator is a challenge in here. And uh, I'm about to find out. So here we go. Life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? 